Hello viewers, in my earlier video, you have been introduced with the basic concepts of spread spectrum. We have also discussed on direct sequence spread spectrum and frequency hopping spread spectrum where we have seen that a modulated signal is multiplied with a spreading code to generate a spread spectrum signal. In this video, we are going to discuss various properties of spreading code. In spread spectrum transmission, the user signal is multiplied by a random pseudo noise code sequence of high bandwidth. The code sequence is known as spreading code or SIP sequence. Different types of spreading codes are periodic and aperiodic sequence, maximum length sequence, goal sequence, etc. And the various properties of spreading codes are balance property, run length property, autocorrelation property. Let us discuss these properties in details. Let us start with balance property. In a spreading code, in every period, the number of positive ones differs from the number of negative ones by exactly one. Hence, the chip duration or the code duration for a spreading code is always, a, always an odd number. For example, let us consider this sequence. Here, 0 corresponds to negative ones and 1 corresponds to positive ones. Here we can see number of zeros is equal to 7 and number of ones is equal to 8 so that the difference is 1. Next is run length property. Run in a spreading code is a sequence of binary digits of same type. In a spreading code among the runs of ones and zeros in each period it is desirable that about half of the runs of each type are of length 1. About one fourth of the runs of each type are of length 2. About one eighth of the runs of each type are of length 3 and so on. In general, we can say in spreading code, about 1 by 2 to the power nth of the runs of each type are of length n. So let us consider this example. In this sequence, we can see the run of zeros and run of 1 that is continuous sequence of zeros and continuous sequence of ones like this. So here you can see this is the run of zero, this is the run of one, run of zeros, run of one, run of zero, run of one, run of zero, again run of ones. So here we can see total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total eight number of runs are there in this code sequence. We can also see that the number of runs with length one is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, number of runs of length 1 is equal to 4, which is half of the total runs. We can also see the number of runs with length 2 is equal to 2, which is 1 fourth of the total runs. And we have only one run with length 3, which is 1 eighth of the total runs and so on. Next we have autocorrelation property. Autocorrelation indicates the degree of matching of a signal with itself. For continuous signal, the autocorrelation can be determined by this expression. Here T code represents the code duration, CT is the signal and tau is the shift or delay of the signal. For discrete signal, the autocorrelation is determined by this expression. Here, nc is the shift duration, an is the nth bit, and k is the shift in bit position. The autocorrelation for a pn code should be maximum so that the correct pn signal can be identified from the coexisting signals. The autocorrelation for a pn code will be equal to 1 when k is equal to 0 and will be equal to plus minus 1 by nc or 0 when k is not equal to 0, where k is the number of chips in bit positions. Let us consider this example. Here nc is equal to 15, that means the du code duration or chip duration is equal to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that we can have 15 here. Now let us represent the 0 by negative ones and 1 by positive ones. So this is our an. Now this sequence with a shift can be represented by a n plus k. So here k is equal to 0 that means no shift so we can write like this. Now if we take the product of a n 
with a n plus k then we can see for this particular bit position here minus 1 with minus 1 will get plus 1 here plus 1 with plus 1 will get plus 1 so this is the product and if we take the sum we'll get 15 which is equal to nc and thus the autocorrelation value when there is no shift or k is equal to 0 we'll get 1 when there is a shift in bit position that means one bit position we can find out the product like this for this bit position 1 minus 1 with minus 1 plus 1 for this minus 1 with minus 1 plus 1 for this plus 1 with minus 1 so it is minus 1 and so on now if we take the sum of these values we'll get 0 so that the autocorrelation is equal to 0 when there is a shift in one bit position or k is equal to 1 similarly when k is equal to 2 we can find out the product of an with an plus k like this and here you can see the sum is equal to 1 so that ra that is the autocorrelation value will be equal to 1 by 15 or 1 by nc that is plus minus 1 by nc thus we can see that the autocorrelation for a pn code is equal to 1 when there is no shift in the bit position and is equal to 0 or plus minus 1 by nc when k is not equal to 0. For more details on this following books are referred. In the next part of the video on spread spectrum we will discuss on pn code generator. Thank you very much for watching.